Hi, I'm Brent. Today we've got a really good opportunity to compare the difference between a 2-litre uh, EJ series block and a 2-litre FA series block. And of course the FA series is the new design engine from Subaru which is the direct injection and the EJ series is the older design port injection engine. And beside me, it's a bit unfortunate because it looks pretty horrible, this is actually the 2-litre EJ series out of a 99 model STI. It's getting a big birthday and you'll notice um, looking down from the top, we've taken the head off on this particular engine. You've got the sump underneath here with the oil pickup, the um, oil filter, the oil cooler, and the timing chain or timing belt assembly, which sits on the front, and the uh, water pump down here, and the oil pump in beside here, with which on this particular engine we're replacing the whole lot. But I just want to take note of the difference in the thickness of the wall diameter because this is a non closed deck um, STI engine, and you'll see the thickness of the the liners here compared to the water gallery and the outer liner and just take note of the diameter of the piston remembering this is a two litre and then just have a look at this one and you'll notice the wall diameter is actually slightly thicker and the water gallery is a little bit different design and the thickness here a bit different but you'll notice there's a lot more support so Subaru has designed the casting a lot differently on the new FA series engines but you'll notice in this rebuilding engine because we're putting new aftermarket pistons and rods in it you'll notice the bore diameter is smaller but the stroke is longer because this is a two litre engine. And looking at this again, this is a two litre engine. Now, it's a bit hard to see, but of course, the front of this FA series two litre engine has got a, a timing chain and everything else is mounted separately and differently to the EJ series engine. So there's a really good example just to know where technology has come from. You'll notice on the crown of the piston on this engine being a direct injection engine, that's where the direct injector fires the fuel into the combustion process internally in the area. And these are the release for the inlet and exhaust valves. Whereas on the old EJ series engines, just got a generic relief around here. And because it's not direct injection, it's port injection, the fuel comes in through the inlet manifold and swirls around and creates a combustion process inside there. So you'll notice Subaru got a different design piston in that as well. And you're remembering, we're talking about an engine here that is effectively, you know, um, 1999 and here we are in 2018 newer technology, there's a big difference in the way these engines have been developed and of course these types of engines in the FA series are now becoming an opportunity for us to improve higher compression ratio on the FA series compared to the EJ series and um, a, whole hope, a whole heap of other features and benefits depending on what you choose to do with your car. So hopefully this video has helped you learn a little bit more about the different block designs on Subaru engines, remembering the STI currently here we are 2018, still has the 2.5 litre series EJ series engines, not a direct injection yet. So we'll be waiting to see what Subaru does in the next couple of years with that. Um, but for now, that's all. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Make sure you check out our tuning website at mrttuned.com.au. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And of course, we'll have a link on the bottom of this video channel to the other videos that we've just created on this engine build here. Um, make sure you check out where I'm talking about the piston design and things like that. But for now, thanks for watching.